Okay. Now the next five to ten minutes, I'll try to give you a summary of what we have studied so far. Then we will do the most important thing. Just message the group that Amir is making summary of entire thing that we have studied. So we started our discussion that in order to start the project, we have a need assessment. Why project is needed? And organizational strategy basically tells you why we need that. Then you make a business case. That is a financial document that looks into the project, the financial summary of that. Then you have benefit management plan. The benefit management plan looks at tangible thing. This is approved by a governance board. And then your project charter gets approved. That is the start of the project initiation. Without project charter, project never starts. Once the project charter is approved, we have a sponsor, we have a project manager at our hand. Then the project manager makes assumption log, start identifying the stakeholder. He identifies the stakeholder through various techniques, categorize them upward, downward, inward, outward, and then prioritize them using power interest graph. Now we have most important stakeholder. Our stakeholder register is updated. Then the planning starts. The first thing will be, he will be making a project management plan he has to make. Project management plan is a combination of all plan. He will make stakeholder engagement plan. Stakeholder engagement plan will have the strategies that are required to engage the stakeholder. It will use a tool that is called stakeholder engagement matrix that will look at the current engagement level and the desired engagement level of the stakeholder. Using those tools, we will try to engage the stakeholders. Once the plan is made, we will also make communication management plan that will talk about right information at right time to right people to have right impact. Four hours of communication will be discussed in that. Who needs the information? what information is needed, when they need the information, everything, okay? In addition to that, we will make resource management plan that will talk about how to acquire the resources, develop the resources, manage the resources, and release the resources. So far, we have discussed these three topics. These plans, which are part of our project management plan, goes to a sponsor. Sponsor approves those plans. Once those plans are approved, in execution, we implement the, those plans. We engage with the stakeholder to making sure their communication needs are met. Okay. And if we if we feel that in monitoring and clone, uh, monitoring and close, monitoring and control, <laughs> the plans are not right, we raise a change request to update those plans. Okay. In addition to that, the team that has come in the execution, we identify their training needs requirement. If the need a training to provide them the training and we measure the training outcomes. Whenever there's something skills that the team member lags, maybe anything that he lags, we provide them the training according to those requirement. We coach them, guide them. We understand emotional intelligence consists of five things, self-awareness, self-management, social skills, empathy, and motivation. Then we discuss multiple motivational theory. And we discussed at any time if a conflict happen, we need to handle that conflict using different conflict management technique. A project manager should act like a servant reader and understand at any time what the project is working. We discussed that the projects are classified on two phases. Is the delivery one go or there is a multiple delivery? Is scope variable or scope can change? If the scope is fixed and single delivery, we go for a predictive project. All the plans are made in the predictive projects. All the plans are made in the predictive projects. And where nothing is fixed, we call it agile. We also discuss there's an in-between world that is called hybrid, in which both things can exist. In agile, we discussed there are four values of Agile, the heart and soul of Agile, and then 12 principles of Agile. 
Then we discussed there are multiple practices among which Scrum is the most important one. Scrum has five events, sprint itself, which is one to four week, normally two week. Daily stand up, 15 minutes meeting, three question, what you have done yesterday, what you are going to do today. Is there any impediment roadblock? Sprint review, where we show the progress, what we have completed according to definition of done. Customer accepted according to acceptance criteria. Retrospective lesson learning meeting. We have three roles, product owner who defines the value, scrum master, facilitator, and a servant leader, and development team who does the work. We have three document or artifact product backlog, list of all the user stories prioritized by high value, high risk, uh, sprint backlog, the items that you are going to do in sprint, that thing in that sprint, which is made in sprint planning. And the third one, whatever get accepted in the sprint review goes into product increment. We discussed information radiator, burn up, burn down chart, task board, Kanban board, and we discussed Kanban board has work in progress limit can help you find the bottleneck in the process. We discussed extreme programming in which we have pair programming to people sit together. We have a test driven development in which we develop and then we measured and we discussed refactoring that is housekeeping. We discussed in lean, we remove the waste and we discussed lead time, cycle time. Lead time is a time when it was requested till it was completed. Cycle time is when the team actually started working, it got completed. We discussed the concept of minimum viable con a product and we discussed that we need to value the customer throughout the project. This is what we have discussed so far, summary of that. Training need assessment is done in the execution as well as in planning. We keep on doing that. When I said throughout the project, anything that is not clear in day one and day two. Anything that is not clear from day one and day two. What we have just covered, that is 80% of the real PM picks. 80%. Yes, there are topics left, risk, quality, procurement, scope, schedule, cost, business environment. This is 80% of real PM picks. If you master this, you master anything. And looking at the mind map you guys made, the beautiful mind map, I'm very positive into that thing.